Hey everybody, John Van Dyke here in New Jersey Exposed. Today is Thursday, March 25th, 2021. Time is 11.26 a.m. Yeah, it's Jersey time, you know that. All right, this is just another follow-up to the story I've been following with Point Pleasant Beach Police Department. The police chief has jumped on the bandwagon. He's, he's got his panties all in a bunch that he can't search cars anymore because they... Imagine, uh, you know, they smell marijuana all the time. Maybe the guy, the kid just fart in his car and they think it's pot. So they got, they need a reason to, to search the car. He's, in, he's claiming that everybody between the age of 17 and 20 with a car is riding around with alcohol in the back seat or pot in the back seat or they're token up in the car. This is what he's claiming. He's playing on people's fears. That's right. Fear is what he's playing on he's taking advantage of that's what every commercial on tv you see is about it's either about having fun feeling good or don't let this happen to you and right now that's what chief michigan is doing he's saying don't let this happen to you we gotta protect the children and if you're to listen to everything he says you'd think that all you all these kids out there between 17 and 20 are all strung out on pot and drinking beer well my question is where are they getting the beer from because last I checked, you got to be 21 to buy beer. So if you're 17, how are you getting the beer? You're 18, 19, how are you getting the beer? Probably getting it from Dad's refrigerator down in the basement, right? He's got all his Bud Lights. He's got the, a case of beer sitting there. And he makes it sound like they're all riding around with pot in the car. Listen, I was 17 once. I wasn't that stupid enough to put leave my cop, leave my bag of weed I got on the front seat. I put it in the trunk where they can't see it. He's all mad because... It's going to render the canine dogs useless. But don't worry, folks. The bootleggers are coming to his aid. And I'm going to read you some of the comments the bootleggers had to say. Because you really want to know what's enabling bad cops and, 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 and keeps us from changing the system? It's the bootleggers. They got that serious mind virus called copaganda implanted in the brain. They think the police are out there to protect us, but every time I ask them why don't they call them protection officers, they don't have an answer. They just know they're enforcement and they're there to protect us. Okay, so uh, uh, Josephine Kukla, K-U-K-L-A, she says, this is not what New Jersey voted for. We voted to be it to be legal for adults. Yeah, so Listen, everybody got beer and pot before it was legal, right? So what changed? Nothing changed. Except they can't get in your car and search you. They lost another avenue for probable cause. That's what changed. I saw several state reps fight this part of the law because it's ridiculous. We voted to decriminalize the use and possession of those over 21. Parents should be told if their child is caught drinking and doing drugs. Eh, bullshit. Well, first of all, if you caught the kid toking up smoking pot, that's a different story. And he's sitting in his car, that's a different story. I don't want anybody, I don't care whether you're 17 or you're 60, driving around a car stone or drinking. I don't want that. Nobody in their right mind wants that. Okay, sorry, I lost the page here before. All right, this is uh, D-Dub, J-Dub, another phony, uh, won't put his real name out there. And he says, or she says, whatever it is, we stand with you, Chief Michigan. Thank you for everything all our police officers and emergency personnel do every day to protect our children and our communities. God bless and be safe. Oh, Aww. boy, if that ain't a bootlicker infected with the copaganda virus, I don't know what is. So I had to respond. You know, I always got to respond. It's, it's, I have an addiction now with, with Facebook and these police department pages. So I asked uh, D-Dub, J-Dub, if they protect, why aren't they called protection enforcement? Why are they called protection? Why aren't they called protection officers or, or protection enforcement? Things you make you go, hmm. hmm. Okay, let's go on. So this is Sarah Claire. First and foremost, importantly, I voted against the legalization. Legal, I voted. I voted against the legalizing regulate recreational use of weed up for many reasons. But it's okay to go have some wine or have some beer. That's okay, right? You never had a beer, right, Claire? Sarah, you never had a beer? No. 
You never went to somebody's house or a backyard barbecue and had beer there? You never did that? Hmm. My question is, how can us bootleggers help support and fight to change the parts of this law which need to be changed? And of course I answer, keep licking those boots! Alright, let's scroll down. There's a couple more in here. So, Mandy Stoeckel, what absolute garbage. This is exactly why people need to take the time to and fully read new bills trying to be passed and understand them before voting. Good luck and Godspeed. Well, people don't pay attention to anything because they're too busy working. And when they get home, in their own little world, all they want to do is come home, eat, put their feet up, watch the TV, stare at their computer, take pictures of themselves, post it on Facebook. It's only when it directly affects you or them, that all of a sudden they're upset. This is why they, if something goes on in your town, well, how did this possibly happen? Well, it happened because you did not go to your town meetings and make noise. It's only when it's a problem and it affects you directly that you're all upset. All right, Michelle, and she says, uh, it's amazing. Some of these names are just half names, and I'm the real names of the people. Thank you for keeping us up to date. I voted for legalization, but I never thought in a million years would have thought it would block parents from parenting. Well, nobody's stopping you from parenting. You tell you, can look, don't drive around with pot and beer in the car, and don't be out there smoking that stuff. You know, my kid was like 16, 17, whatever it was. She was in high school. I told her, I said, look. I can't stop you from doing these things. You're going to do what you want to do. All I can tell you is use good judgment when, if, if and when you do it. One, don't drive around with pot and beer in a car. Two, if you're drunk, you went to a party and somebody slipped you some alcohol and you got drunk, call your dad, call your mother. Just call me. No questions asked. I won't hassle you. That's how you parent. It's not the job of the police to parent. They can't parent themselves. Most of these cops are a bunch of perverts and bums and thugs. Look at all the money they cost everybody in lawsuits every year. I'm not saying all officers are, but there's a large portion of them out there. So don't you good cops out there take it personal when I say these things. You should be mad at the bad cops that are causing me to say these things. Oh... Connie Michelle, another crusade of the CDC in bed with politics allow young underdeveloped minds use drugs, alcohol, again, again, these fucking idiots, they, it's like the, the chief gets on there and pu pushes the narrative that every child between a, or kid between his ages of 16 and 20 is a drunk and a, and a pot smoker. Underdeveloped minds use drugs and alcohol so that they become mentally defective and owned by pharmaceutical companies. You know what? I think you, Connie, are the mentally defective person. My kid is not mentally defective. She wasn't on drugs. I didn't take her to the doctor and say, hey, give her some Ritalin. Don't do that. You stupid parent. These stupid lily whites. I can't stand them. Stupid lily whites. Oh, the government knows best. Oh, the police chief knows best. He's going to protect us. <clears throat> Run while you can. This country is going right straight to hell if this keeps up. Not my child. I am a parent who will fight with my kid over drugs and alcohol and who she is hanging around with. Aww. Oh, boy. I will never allow any person, anyone or person to, to think, claim my child's life by way of these substances. Oh, good for you, Connie. Hurrah! Oh, I can't stand it. They live in a fantasy world. Uh, here's another one. This is Steve. Hi, Steve Henry. Everybody's got a first name and a, and a, and a first name's the last thing. Thanks, Chief Michigan, for speaking out about this flawed legislation and common sense matter. The only flaw to the cop is the inability to arrest more people. And to find a reason to search your car. We don't need 17-year-olds, 18-year-olds, 19-year-olds getting jammed up, getting an arrest, and screwing their lives up. I'm going to end it with this because it, it basically this is all the same crap one after another. It's these lily whites. There are a few people on there that did question the chief on his motive and tell him that, look, it's politics. Stay out of your job to enforce laws. If you're, here's my opinion on how to handle these, you know, these kids, all these kids strung out on alcohol and pot, supposedly. 
you stop a, a, a 17 year old because he rolled through a stop sign and magically has a six pack of quartz light sitting in the back seat. Here's how you handle it. Here's how you handle the pot thing too. It's very simple. You confiscate it, you take it from him, and you tell the kid, if you want this back, you'll have to come back with your parent or somebody of, of 21 years of older to claim it. That's how you handle it. You just take it from them. That's my opinion. That's not how the law reads. The legislature wants it. My opinion, I'll repeat myself. You stop somebody's 17, somebody's 18. Well, first of all, they're 18. It's not the parent's business anymore. He's, you're 18 years old. You're old enough to pick up a gun and, and go to Iraq and shoot somebody, kill somebody, and fight for your country. It's not the parent's business anymore. Kid, at some point, you got to let the kid have a longer leash. You know, you, you teach them the best you can by example. And when they get to that age, you got to let them go out. You got to let them be free and make those mistakes. But when they make the mistakes, you don't jam them up like the cops want to do to you. They want to jam your kids up. This is what it's all about. It's all bullshit. Oh, you know, we're not going to arrest anybody the first time around. Bullshit. There's no guarantee. Suppose you stop a kid that's 17 years old and he's got the, he's got, pot in the front seat or he's got the six pack in the beard he tells the cop to go fuck himself and all of a sudden you got contempt the cop and the cop's gonna arrest the kid so don't tell me this crap cheap michigan oh we don't arrest people uh you know we just we try to uh, work, work with the community and save the kids yeah bullshit oh shit go look at that people go look at the video on uh, youtube just type in that point pleasant beach police and watch the videos come up they body slammed a black guy because he had a, a brown bag with some alcohol in it. And then uh, the auditor of Southeastern Pennsylvania Community Watch was out there. He, he didn't know. He was never there before. He had a cigarette in his hand. And these stupid class twos uh, jammed him up for smoking on the boardwalk. Boardwalk, which is, by the way, is privately owned by Jenkinsons on the boardwalk. But that's how you handle it. To all you lily whites out there and you rah back the blue bullshitters, this is how you handle the kid. Eight, 17, uh, eight, 17 through 20 years old, you stop them, they got pot, they got beer in the car, magically in the back seat if they're that stupid to do it. Maybe they don't have a back, they don't have a trunk, I don't know. But you find them, you take the, you take the stuff away. First of all, if they're between the age of 18 and 20, you confiscate the beer, they can't get it back, they gotta come back with somebody 21 and older, could be anybody. If they're 17 years of age and you stop them, you take the alcohol, the pot away from them, and they have to come back with a parent if they want to get it back. That's how you handle it. Simple as that. No rights are being violated. No people are getting their life screwed up with stupid tickets and arrests. That all it does is benefit the police because we all know the police build their rep their resume and their reputation based on how many arrests they can make and how much money they can generate for the town. All right, people. I'll put the link in the description for the Facebook posting, and uh, you go look at it yourself if you want. Let me know what you think in the comment section. <sighs> Till next time.